Now we can actually calculate the speed with which the mass will on the spring will move by considering energy. So at this point where it's stationary, it's in equilibrium. If I extend it down to some amplitude a, so it's moved through distance a now, then it's got potential energy stored in the spring. When I release it, this energy converts between potential energy at the two extremes and purely kinetic energy right in the middle. So we can calculate the potential energy stored in the spring when I displace it because we've said that the change in the potential energy is equal to a half kx final squared which is a half ka squared in this case minus a half kx initial squared and in this case x initial was zero it was at its equilibrium position so the displacement from equilibrium is zero so the change in potential energy is given by a half ka squared and so that energy, the half Ka squared, is conserved, is just converted between different forms as the mass moves. So we can have a look at this on tracker. You will be able to see that the speed with which the spring is moving oscillates like this and the maximum speed is right in the middle of the motion when the mass is at its equilibrium point. Now we can use this energy conservation to calculate the speed of our mass. So the total energy within the system is given by the change in the potential energy, the work done as we extend the spring, which is a half Ka squared. And this is then in the form of potential U plus kinetic K. The potential is given by a half Kx squared, where X is the distance displacement from equilibrium and the kinetic energy is given by a half mv squared. So we've now got a half ka squared is equal to a half kx squared plus a half mv squared. So we can rearrange this. We want to put v on one side. So we've got mv squared is equal to ka squared minus kx squared. We've cancelled off all the common factors of a half there. And so you can see that the speed is going to be equal to the square root of k on m times a squared minus x squared. So we've now used energy to come up with an expression for the speed of the spring.